Welcome to the Halloween 2022 Advanced Report from McGowan Group clients and NetworthRadio.com listeners. I'm Spencer McGowan, your financial weatherman with your weekly fast-paced tour of the global financial markets. I'm President, McGowan Group Asset Management. We are a team of 10 serving affluent families and boy howdy what a year it's been. The resiliency of the portfolios, I'm going to cover the sources of that resiliency and building a great pension fund for clients with an inflation hedge, all of that ahead. And this week in October was a big surprise. You can see right here the S&P 500 year to date down about 19%. And Friday this week, uh, that was actually cut to about 18%. The rally of October was a surprise for most everybody. Most investors think that October is the worst month of the year. Statistically, it's September. September was awful. And here's the bounce that we got in October. That's for the overall market. I want to cover some areas that are working because in a market like this, you find bargains. Well, what's worked all year long that has been more resilient and is inflation friendly? So let's answer that question. All securities, now this is important, all securities, S&P 500 reporting, uh, 263 of them. And if you put all the ones that have reported so far, sales growth was 11 and a quarter percent. Earnings growth, 1.78%. That's actual earnings growth. It was projected to be a big down quarter, and that's one of the reasons October bounced. Where are those earnings coming from? Whoa, energy, 140% increase in earnings. Well, you look at materials down 34%, financials down 13, IT investment technology down six, but overall the S&P earnings growth and sales growth was very positive and it was better than expected. In the case of October, low expectations were the key to happiness on the earnings reports. And you could see that that's filled back in. There are some great bargains out there. One of them being energy infrastructure, up 30% for the year. And one of the best sources of income, especially inflation-friendly income, with rising dividends so far this year. That's a great category. The energy crisis is all hands on deck and it's projected to last at least until 2026, if not 2028. Another inflation friendly category, good medical brand names. Now remember, it's not a recommendation for your portfolio until you actually come down and get a plan from McGowan Group or Zoom with us for your brainstorming session. We'll do an initial plan outline for you right there and you'll get it by the end of the meeting. Here, we take the medical dividends that we chose for low PEs. 33% gain, 23% gain, 17% gain, 90% gain so far this year. What, what, what did they have in common? Rising dividends and a very attractive earnings multiple. It costs less than the S&P 500 to buy earnings in that category. That's how we identified it. Inflation. And we've been making the case that inflation actually ended about 90 days ago. CPI for 90 days, consumer price index, actually shows a half a percent. That would annualize it two, not eight or nine. Well, look at this. You've heard supply chain bottlenecks, inflation. What happened? That's the Ukrainian peak. This is the global freight index. And it's gone from 11,100 per 40 foot container all the way back down to 3,400. What's significant about that? That's about the beginning of 2021. In other words, inflation in shipping costs has disappeared and the supply chain crisis is getting solved. What happened to home sales? Look at this. You can see the peak right there every month dropping. 7% mortgages are freezing the housing market. And here's something on inflation. The S&P K Schiller Home Price Index for the month of August minus 1.63%. You say, well, gosh, home prices went up over 20%. That doesn't sound like much. 
If you annualize the drop in home prices last month, it would annualize at a 20% decline in home values if it continues. And it appears that it will based upon existing home sales. That component, that component of inflation has disappeared. This week is the big Fed meeting, November 2nd. They're going to announce an anticipated rate increase of three quarters of a percent, even one percent. The treasuries have already built that in. So once they say they're done, typically you'll get a nice big relief rally like 2019 began. I'm Spencer McGowan, President, McGowan Group Asset Management. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe. That way you get fast breaking news alerts on the financial markets. And it's a great video to share with your friends or your non-investing spouse or your kids that are going to be your trustee. Get them to watch and tune in. They'll at least know they have a resource here at McGowan Group Wealth Management. Thank you for tuning in to Net Worth Media today and our efforts over the past two decades to educate clients and help clients make great decisions. That's the reason that we're here at YouTube McGowan Group, Apple Podcasts, Net Worth Radio, and NetWorthRadio.com. The Net Worth Media effort is designed to help you make great decisions and address value at risk of loss, fluctuation in the markets. Remember, if we talk about a security, doesn't make it a recommendation until you come down and get a plan from McGowan Group Asset Management, the team that cares. You can set a Zoom meeting or an in-office meeting at the Crescent and we'll give you a written plan that encompasses what we believe to be the best allocations. This is a team of 10 devoted to you. That includes the research that you see each week from Reuters, from Bloomberg, and from the best sources. We always post links at networthradio.com for what we believe can help you make great decisions, the research that comes up. Now, the net worth media effort is also designed to address cycles in the market, value at risk of loss. At networthradio.com, you can get the ADV form that shows, yes, we're a fiduciary, a registered investment advisor. It covers the costs of hiring our team to help you in the future ahead. It really helps to have an expert team on your side that you can reach by phone, email, and of course, a team that's here for you every week to address what's going on in the markets because anxiety can often lead investors to make decisions that are either dangerous, chasing things, or selling things when they shouldn't. And that's a big part of our planning effort at McGowan Group Asset Management. Thank you for tuning in, and we look forward to serving you and your family in the years ahead.